I actually got caught in a room, locked in, and the guy grabbed the knife. <laughs> Here's a pen, okay? That, or should I give him a hard pen? I don't trust you. I think he's gonna kill me, actually. Now we take this cup, roll it together, because <laughs> I only trust you with soft paper, <laughs> okay? There we go, that's your knife. All right. <laughs> yeah. You don't hold a knife like that. No one holds a knife like this. I okay, you hold a knife like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Now, some people asked me, what's the best defense for a knife attack? And someone also asked, what style does it the best? Is it karate? Is it jujitsu? Is it whatever else? You know, is it Kali, Sikaran? Is it uh, Sun Tzu Khan? In, in my opinion, only one group of fighters around the world does knife attacks the best. I'm going to show you why. I'm not going to say which style it is, but have a look. I'm going to see what works the best now. Right. So let's try doing nothing. Please stop. Don't stab me. Yeah, that didn't work so well. He stabbed me anyway. How about me running away? That, that worked pretty well. So how about we tick running away as a good technique, right? Everybody agrees? Yeah. Run away from a knife. Good. Let's say I don't have that option. What do I do? Let's try some actual techniques. I want you to actually go like, fucking try to actually stab me. Whatever I do, okay? You don't stop, you just stab. Yeah, go. Oh my God, I've got a knife on me. Oh shit. He keeps stabbing me, he's stabbing me in the head now. Oh, okay, I'm gonna do a technique. I think I got you there. Yeah, no, I got you now, but I'm already dead. <laughs> Let's try something else. Now, stab me. Stab me, come on. Stab me. I got you though, I got you. Stab me, come on. <laughs> you did stab me, but after how many of those punches do you think you would have been on the ground? One. <laughs> One more time, let's try it again. <laughs> so, which style does that? Have you seen a style online that actually does it this way? Where they try to grab? and just fucking hardcore hammer him. Yeah, Krav Maga does it the best because they understand that is not the attacker. So stop trying to neutralize the knife. Neutralize the brain holding the knife by laying right into him. Bah! I'm gonna tell you a story. Uh, one time, I actually got caught in a room, locked in, and the guy grabbed a knife. I haven't told a lot of people this, apart from my close friends, because I really damaged him. I had no other option to get out. We were in a restaurant, this was in Australia. Uh, we were both staff, and the guy was actually psycho. And I always told everybody, he worked in the kitchen. I went into the kitchen, argument broke out between me and him. Uh, and he hit me, he punched me in the face. He, the first punch that he laid on me, I wasn't expecting it because we're both working in a restaurant. Like, why would, he, why would there be a fight? It's just an argument. But yeah, he just boom, smashed me straight in the nose. My nose broke, as it always does. <laughs> in every freaking fight, my nose, as big as it is, it always breaks. Anyway, bro, and I just stood there, looked at him and said, really? Are you serious? He didn't stop after that. He kept going. My, my back is on to one of those, you know, swivel doors that goes both in and out. And the girls outside saw that happening and they didn't want us falling out into the restaurant in front of the customers. So what did they do? Thanks for that, by the way. They held the door, they pushed on it. So I can't get out now. 
Now I'm stuck with someone laying fucking fists on my face with my back to a door in a closed, tight little area with the kitchen right next to me. And this is what I did. I started laying back, right, because I'm a fighter. So I blocked after a few times and started laying right into him. Bop, 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 bop. Got him going backward, started stumbling backward. And I stopped. I wasn't, I didn't keep going. I just said, fucking stop this. You're crazy, man. What are you doing? And he looks at me, he looks next to him, grabs a knife and comes charging straight at me. I can't get out of here. There's no way out of here. It's like this small. What do you think I did in that situation? I went like that with my arm just to try to block it because stab me, stab me, keep, keep stabbing, keep stabbing. Trying to hold an arm that is moving is really hard. You have to actually uh, uh, stab, stab, grab and actually hit it the first time and not let it go because he's not going to keep his arm there. Look, grab my arm. Come on, grab my arm. I'm not even going hard. Grab my arm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So all of you guys out there teaching this stuff, uh, stab me. Ha! 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 Ooh! Cha! Cha! All of you guys teaching that stuff, yeah, go fuck yourself. You're going to get people killed. Stand up. I believe my knife broke. <laughs> <laughs> he said I broke his knife. <laughs> so, but what does work is this. Yeah, that shit hurt, didn't it? Don't fucking stab me again. Stab me again. I don't think I... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't work me like it. What I did in that situation in that kitchen, because he did not stop. He had fucking lost it. I think he got deported or jailed or something like that. But the cops talked to me and said, are oh, you fine, are you all right? I was like, yeah, it's just my nose is fucking broken. I'm all shook up, you know? And I was like, fine, don't worry about it. We got your details, go home. I was like, okay, I'm home. And after that, I never heard of from them again, but this is what I did. And this scarred me. Don't ever think hurting someone is fun. It's not fun. If you're a nice person like me, it's not fun. But it's something you have to do to live. And he went for it, right? And as soon as he went for it, I just went like that and just started bam, 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 hitting and hitting and hitting. He dropped the knife. He fell down on the ground, but he kept trying to stand up. He was on his knees. He went like that. But he kept trying to stand up and I said, stop, stop, stop. And I went and I just kept hitting and kept hitting and kept hitting. And I had to hit this person so much, I damaged him so much. And seeing him in a bloody pool like that, you think it was fun? I was a young kid. I was just a university student. No, it wasn't fun. It's never fun being in a fight. But you know what is less fun? Having him stab me. That is less fun. So I smashed as hard as I could. And that rescued my life. So whoever out there who says, you know, you should go like that and do this and then do that. Yeah, if you train on that for five hours a day for 20 years straight... But what you can teach within six months is to be aggressive. Be aggressive and punch. It works. And I, pro I bet you if I train on that for 20 years, five hours a day, I'd be a by far better attack def defender of a knife than I would be. Fuck that, man. Go watch movies. Anyway, that's my defense for self, best self-defense uh, style, if you want to know, for a knife attack. It's Krav Maga. Krav Maga exists in every part of the world. Go train it. But go to a club that doesn't just teach this. No, go to one that actually spars with it where they put the headgear and all the full gear on and actually attack each other with knives and spar that shit, that's where you go. So find one of those clubs. There's many of them around. All right? That's it. Uh, can I keep the knife? knife? <laughs> you can keep your knife. <laughs> Train hard, fight easy. Oh, you're going to stab me and kill me.
<laughs> that's, that's, that, that's how we started. I just told one of my students to stab me and kill me. I don't think that was a good idea. He, he looked like he wanted to do it. <laughs>